so thanks for taking the time today, um, Dr. Webb, to come and talk to me about knees. Um, I really appreciate oh, yeah. that. Um, um, just to start off with, why don't you tell me just a little bit about your practice? Yeah, so I'm one of the orthopedic specialists who works with Orthopedics SA. I'm with the uh, largest orthopedic specialist group in Adelaide. As part of my practice, I specialise in surgery of the lower limb. In particular, uh, I specialise in uh, arthroscopic surgery, the knee, sporting knee injuries, um, with a real focus on arthroscopic minimal invasive surgery um, and also computer assisted uh, joint replacement. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so um, you've got an interest in treating sporting knees. Um, so um, how do you um, assess a sporting knee and how do you then um, make a decision about some, whether someone's hurt their anterior cruciate ligament or their ACL? Yeah, no, so uh, assessing the assessing the, the person who's uh, injured their knee acutely playing sport, most of the information we get from the story that they tell us how they injured their knee and then we can infer most of that diagnosis from examination. So yep. once I've spoken to the patient and examined them, I can almost guarantee that I've got the diagnosis there. Any patient that I'm contemplating doing surgery on, I'll always get an MRI scan of that knee to confirm that the diagnosis is uh, is correct uh, before we consider taking it, undertaking any surgery. Great. And um, when a sports person injures their ACL in their knee, um, do they require surgery? And how many of them do require surgery? Yeah. So not everyone who injures their ACL does need an ACL reconstruction. Um, and uh, with our large population now, with the younger patients and older patients uh, playing sport into a, to a much greater age, some patients will be fine and not need not need an ACL reconstruction. Yeah. That said, though, most patients uh, for Australian sport, where we play a lot of pivoting sports, Aussie rules football, netball, soccer, most of these patients will need an ACL reconstruction. The ACL is the most important stabiliser of the knee for that pivoting and change of direction motion. Yeah. And so anyone who's injured their ACL and wants to go back to playing those sorts of sports, most of those will need to go on and have an ACL reconstruction. Okay, great. Um, and um, what um, when they when they as the decision is made that they're going to have an, an ACL reconstruction, what are their options with regards to, to graft and sort of, I suppose, basically, how is the, how is yeah. the uh, operation done? Yeah, certainly I think the best, the best graft choice to be used is the patient's own tissue. Yep. So the two most common ones that we use are the, the uh, patella tendon, so the kneecap tendon and the hamstring tendons. Yep. And there's a little bit of plussing and uh, minuses in terms of the advantages and disadvantages of both. For most patients, the hamstring tendon tends to be the, the graft of choice. It's got fewer of the after-operative uh, uh, problems in terms of some front of knee pain. Um, and from a graft stability point of view, they both work very well. Yep. The artificial grafts, unfortunately, haven't worked very well um, with time, so certainly using your own tissue is the best option available. Okay, great. And someone goes forward and they have an HCL reconstruction with a surgeon like you, Justin, and then they've got to go through a rehabilitation period. Um, you know, um, what's that rehabilitation period typically to return to sport? How long is that? And um, what does it sort of basically involve? I'm a physio and I'm interested in that stuff. So. Absolutely. Um, most patients after their ACL reconstruction are going to require a period of between nine and 12 months to, for, their uh, for their rehabilitation after their ACL reconstruction yep. um, before they return to competitive sport. The main reason that it takes that long is you have to retrain the body and connect the brain back to the muscles so that that risk of re-injuring the knee or re-injuring the other knee for that matter is as minimised as is possible. Right. Um, all of that said, um, patients are able back on the exercise bike by about six weeks after the surgery on average, starting to do some running around three or four months after surgery. So whilst it sounds like a long time before you get back, back to playing sport, yeah. you're actually being very active and doing most of those things and then there's a few of those tests that need to be required which are mostly done by you more so mm. than me in terms of determining that return to sport um, mm. uh, suitability. So what things are important with return to sport if we're going to make those really good decisions about hopefully having athletes not re-injure themselves and get back successfully to sport, um, which yeah. is our aim, um, you know, what kind of things are important to test? Yeah, so the things that I really look for is that ability for the patient to have achieved those actions that they really need for their particular sport. And focusing on that real sport-specific uh, rehabilitation uh, program is really important because whether you're a netball or whether you're a footballer, there are certain things that are going to be different for those individuals. Yeah. So for the most part, they need to have regained really good muscular control more so than individuals strength yeah. um, of the actual muscle groups um, and what that involves is the ability for, for something like a running sport your ability to accelerate and decelerate without having um, sort of, uh, uh, with good control of the knee yeah. um, afterwards and so the tests that I do in the group I get my patient to do a lateral hop so they hop on one leg side to side yeah. and then I get my patient to do a leap and land test so I get them to hop on one leg and then uh, top off one leg and then land on that same leg as yeah. a good test. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time and talking about ACLs um, this afternoon. And um, I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully um, we can um, talk about uh, another injury soon. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you. Okay.